when clutching up has been, I'm sure, a talking point for quite a while. Um, you've got three in a row who have combined five of 33 with two outrunners in scoring position come through in succession. What does that feel like? What does that mean? Where people can get down, it's, a, it's as much a mental game as it is physical, and where people can get down about that. For hitters to come through in those spots for Liz Emma, and Katie in her <laughs> biggest spot of her career, what is that like as a coach to, to see that come through in that moment? To me, that they're not allowing the moment to get too big, and that if um, past at bats that didn't go their way, they are able to let it go and reset and be ready for the next. You know, we we, we think about there's been times this year where um, somebody hasn't gotten their way in the first couple at bats, but they've stayed the course and then they come up big in their last at bats. So I think they're really really starting to understand. We've been talking about staying neutral and having the ability to reset, and you could really see that today with this entire group. Is there a part of it also that you have who you have? Like there wasn't, you, you've, you're you one who's not afraid at all to ever make a change, put in a pinch run or pinch hit or whatever the case is, but there was no statistical argument to be made. You had what you had, you had to go with it, that there's a confidence you have to show, but they have to feel at ease that, oh, like coach is gonna pinch hit for me. Like, no, no, she's not, like this is, this is it. Yeah, yeah, I, again, I just think it's them staying in the moment and not, you know, I, I think even kind of earlier in the year, we worry about what if something's going to happen, then what happens, that that's what happens. So I think just continuing to stay present, uh, present and then just really understanding like what is expected of me in the game, that that's just what it is. And um, if it's expected for me to come in, at, you know, for a pinch hit, that's what it is. If I'm going to get pinch hit for it, I'm at the top of the stairs and I'm all over the person that came in for me. So I think that's what you could really see. These guys played hard for each other all weekend long. Um, and you could just really see that. You could see their confidence. You could see them um, really wanting to do well for each other. So I think that just really showed up. Now you talk about taking things game by game, series mm -hmm. by series, but to get one against a top 10 team and yeah. a rival, does that mean anything more, anything different than just your regular series? Absolutely. I mean, the pack is tough. So to come in and get one from a team that's, you know, ranked in the top 10 and, you know, we want to win the pack. And in order to win the pack, we've got to go through a team like Washington and, and, and find a way to win the series. So what I what I was really excited about with our group overall is if you looked at each game, we got better and better as the series went along, which to me is a really, really good sign. Well, Lisa had a great game on both sides of the, the ball today. Can you talk a little bit about like how she's impacted the team this season and today? Mm -hmm. Alyssa, did you say Alyssa? Yes. Um, just you can you can see when she comes up in her talk, she's very thoughtful with her words. She really takes time to like take things in. She doesn't rush things, and um, she really wants to do well for her uh, her teammates. You can see that. You know, I think before that one, she had a ground out and a pop up, and then she comes up and hits a double with two outs you know, to op opposite field. So um, I love what she's doing at the plate. I think she's been phenomenal too on defense. She's done a really good job on both sides, which is great. We need that. What was the energy like in that sixth inning in the dugout where you just two out rally and you guys yeah. get six and take the lead there, big, big inning? It was a huge inning and they were just passing the bat. When we passed the bat, that's when really, really good things happen. But they just were in the dugout, betting on each other, just knowing that the person up to the plate was gonna come up big, and then every time they came up big, they just continued to celebrate, and then know that the next one was gonna come up big. I mean, to do that all in two outs, I feel like that is something that we, our program has always been known for since I've been here. We always come up big with two outs, and you can see it sometimes where we haven't, and to see us get back to like our our normal ways and, and to do all that, I think we had eight hitters that came to the plate, so pretty impressive in that fifth inning Ariel obviously got called out what was the explanation given to you for that and how did you feel like the mood around the team changed after that it basically with a shot you guys can see the shot clock you can see the clock there's 20 seconds the first 10 seconds the hitter and the catcher needs to be in the position so the catcher needs behind the plate the hitter needs to be in the box from there the pitcher has the full 20 seconds so they were saying that our hitter wasn't positioned in the box. As far as the mood for our team, they, it fired them up even more. So there was no highs and lows with it. It fired them up even more um, when that happened. Was the strategy any different? Was it just execution on Morgan's part in terms of how you all attacked their lead two hitters there in the six with bases loaded? Because on Friday, obviously, that started their rally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was the strategy different how you attacked them, or is it just our execution? I, I 
think um, just like I said earlier, I think as we kept going into the weekend, we got better with what we were doing. And she came in was not going to be denied. You could see that last night and even in today when she came in, she wasn't going to be denied. So um, I think just she knew exactly what she wanted and she was able to execute it. And even, I mean, it was tough. We had bases loaded, right? One gap shot. I, I just still felt, I just, I felt it. I knew she was going to get out of it. Coach, could you go through your point of view with that hit by pitch strike recall? Um, they said that she, her bat went across the plate, and so that's why they called it. They, they called it a swing. So if you swing and the ball hits you on your third strike, then you're out, and that's that's what the call was. Is that play subject to review, or because it's a strike, it's not? There's no. Yeah, yeah. And now, going into the the weekend series with Arizona, how how can you guys? harness the energy from this, this win, and seriously her win, and take that into the area. Well, we're, we are leaving to go play GCU first, and so that's just our priority right now. I mean, that's a really good team. They're going to win their conference. Um, that's, you know, they've got good RPI, so it's, it's like, to me, like, we've been taking it one game at a time. That is what's next for us, and then once we get through that, then we'll see what's next. So, but I think these guys are in a great spot. I think they're they're playing really, really good ball right now. So, in the big picture, Mitch, like you say, there's still a Pac-12 race. Obviously, you're still in the thick of it. Mm -hmm. But this was and has been a rivalry that has not been necessarily terribly competitive over the last couple of years. In some games, particularly in the games you guys won, the times were lopsided. To win this series this way, to win this series for the first time in your tenure here, does this one feel like that? Like this was. How just intense a series do you all have had? Yeah. Years? This is what we need. I mean, it's just, we're going to, this series that we played, we're going to play it with the next pack and with the next and with the next. So, and then going into postseason, I mean, this is just, pack is what postseason is all about. And so to be able to be in these situations over and over and over again and know how to clutch up and come through, it's, it's huge for this group. Stevie, not her best outing of the season today. Uh, it seemed like the walks were a little high. What was working for her and what wasn't? Just, I, I think sometimes that just happens. I just think sometimes, you know, you come out and you're locked in, and then sometimes, you know, it, it, it might be a little bit more tougher. But, again, what is huge is that we have a staff that we're not having to just solely depend on just one person. And you could see that over the weekend. We used everybody all weekend long. And so um, I, I think our pitching staff got um, better this, this weekend. I think they walk away looking at, you know, things a little different and just – putting them in some t uh, really intense moments and, and seeing them shine through.